yeah. Bianca gonna apologize too. <laughs> no, we don't have a graphic. All right, for that. so Sorry. two two people wrote uh, wrote notes. One of them was Chairman Rowe. Uh, B- Banks, you want to read Please. it just because the first yeah, sentence. A, I'll take a, it if you fall off, but I got this. Yeah. I've been practicing at home. I too felt a little nigga please at the idea of banning the Betsy Ross flag. Uh, we didn't know ex- the extent of the Betsy Ross flag as a symbol for white supremacists using it. I stand by basically what we said, which is that's not Nike's fault and right. it's not Pepe the Frog and it's not the OK symbol. Those have been co opted in a massive way. They co-opted the Betsy Ross flag. Even the examples they used were pretty obscure. Right. Like, oh, and like in 19, or I'm sorry, in 2016, there was an article in the Oregon something saying, it's like, all right, so people are going to use it. I don't know what to tell you. I don't think that it invalidates the Betsy Ross flag for ever or even in this period. But it also gives validity to the co-opting of it in a racist way because it didn't start out that way Mm -hmm. and if someone's just like okay we're taking i mean the pepe the frog was used by so many people before they took it over it was not just this white you know supremacist you know hate group meme that everybody was like you know that's those are those white people acting up there was a completely separate thing that they were just like this is gonna work for us so by running away from the the oldest glory and stuff like that, I think it kind of val- validates. Yeah. Well, now they're really going to run with it. Whereas if a bunch of black folks were wearing those, sh- it's just like, okay, what are you going to do now? It yeah. devalues it. Yeah. Just like A-OK. I write A-OK emoji all the time. Right. And in your white supremacist <laughs> group text. Right. <laughs> My- um. Yeah, so I guess that's a mild apology. That's a soft. That's not a full throated apology. No, no. That's a. That's, that's a, a. That's a mild. That's, that's a just, quarter just throated. Just the tip. Qu- mm. That's Stop. just the tip of an Stop apology. <laughs> and then we got some corrections <laughs> on the racist yes. terms that the etymology of racist terms, which we're very happy about. This was from Cat. She said, "So picnic derives from the French picnique." Where each guest contributes an item of food, um, Snopes rates your racist version as false. And with cracker, you suggested it originated from whip cracker, but it predates American slavery and can be traced to 1590s England where it was used to describe someone that was a blowhard. Similarly, peanut gallery seems to refer to the cheapest seats in the house and a certain class of people, but the Einlon dictionary sources don't seem to concede that this infers a racial class to these people. On the 1950s TV show Howdy Doody, they referred to the area where children sat as the Peanuts Gallery. Seems difficult to believe that in the segregation era, TV hosts would refer to little kids as black. (laughs) Little white kids as black. Uh, Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. So I'm happy. I'm happy. Guess what? Peanut Gallery. You're back in the game. You're back in. Picnic. You're back in. Heebie-jeebie. Heebie-jeebies. I don't know about heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. I mean, heebie-jeebies. No, I just set you up. I no, I know heebie-jeebies is. Uh, is uh, I might. I don't really use it, but now I, now I might just because it's back. It. I can remember it. You know what I mean? <laughs> just to. You know what I mean? Um, no, I'm really happy about picnic because, uh, by the way, I spread the word so fast amongst so many people I know that picnic yeah. was racist. Now your friends have been saying, hey, do you guys want to have an outdoor <laughs> lunch tomorrow? Which is like, ugh, come on. Come on, heebie-jeebies. Oh You're giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> um, okay, so those are our apologizes. This is how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel, Neil? Tell us how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel, Neil? This is how do you feel? Tell us just how you feel, Neil. Hey, I said, welcome to how Neil feel. You know the deal. Gotta learn just how Neil burn it. Feels. It keeps it real with this cold